at the time we we were done with the time bomb tour which was the second buck cherry record and three of the band members had quit so it was just keith and i uh in our rehearsal room just writing songs along that time uh Slash called up Keith and said, hey, you, you want to do this Randy Castillo benefit at the Key Club? We'll do like a couple of Cherry songs, a couple of GNR songs, maybe an Aerosmith song. And we're like, yeah, let's do it. So it was me, Keith, Matt, Duff, and Slash. And that's how it all started. And so we did this show at the Key Club and there was like, everybody was talking about it in LA after we did it. You know, there was like this buzz going on. And so Keith and I got back to the rehearsal room a few days later and, um, I saw him. I was like, man, that felt so good. It felt, it felt like, it felt like Buck Sherry with like really great players. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, and he goes, yeah, I totally feel the same way. And I go, it was so nice to be like in a band because we had been band list for probably a month at that point. And, uh, or maybe longer. And, so Slash was thinking the same thing. So we called him and we're like, hey, man, you guys want to do maybe uh, write some songs and see and, and, and put together a band? He was into it. So we became a band for like a month and we were we were in rehearsal room writing songs. And we, and we even got to the point where we were taking management meetings to find a manager to manage it. And we were trying to come up with band names and all of it. And then all of a sudden... Slash just came in and said he didn't want to do it. He pulled the plug without even letting anybody know. We thought everything was fine. And so that really kind of set me off. I, I didn't like that. I didn't like, uh, you know, wasting my time and spinning my wheels and somebody kind of leading me on, even though I don't even care who it is. You know, if it was Joe Blow or Slash, you know, it really irritated me. But it is what it is, right? And then, so Keith and I went our separate ways and then... It was only after that that Velvet Revolver eventually became something. It was like those three guys just kept on rolling, Matt, Duff, and Slash, and then eventually they, they formed Velvet Revolver.